He's a two four. I have Ephesians two four. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his, of he, great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. Paul right there. Verse 5 enlightens us and tells us that although we were yet in our sins, Christ died. Now, now this is, again, this is for group one. These are the basics about who God really is and what he's really trying to get us to do. He made us alive. Continue in verse 8. 8, okay. For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. It is a gift of God. Now, I know this is a time of season where we can identify with gifts. We, we are excited about the earthly thing that we are going to be able to get, you know, and that's all good. Hopefully, you don't spend more money than you're supposed to. <laughs> you know, maybe you got some in ginger that's going to help you get through. <laughs> but, but, but he identifies and said, it is a gift from God. Now, most of us believe that, but those of you who don't know me or this child may not know that. Mm -hmm. But we have a free gift out there waiting for us, which is the best gift you could ever get from anyone. That's right. And God is the giver of that gift. That's right. Continue in verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you, want, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. It says you were once out there. In Bible study, we talked this morning about what are some spiritual things that you are thankful for. And it took us a minute now to come up with some things that were spiritual and so were spiritual. Because as Christians, even as Christians, we sometimes don't think of the spiritual things that we are thankful for. We are quick to point out the physical thing, family, car, you know, money, able to pay my bills, you know. We are, we are quick to think for, for those things. But what about the spiritual things that we are thankful for? We have a hard time with that. So, so verse 13, enlighten us on the blood has been brought unto him so that we can understand who Christ really is. Continue in verse 18. For through him we both have access by one spirit to, to the Father. Now therefore, now, hold on. Access. Mm -hmm. If you have access to something, mm -hmm. yeah, that's something I, you know, I can get into. We went to a game this week, you know, I went with a, a, a guy that I used to coach with. He has access, you know, to get through certain gates that other people can't get through because he's a college coach. So we went up in there, you know, the place was packed. He kept riding up close. I'm like, bro, you, you know, I'm in my mind like, you ain't going to get in that. Man. You know, you in Calhoun, you know, they got their stuff tight. You know, they got plenty of boosters and everybody. You ain't going to get in there. So we kept riding closer all the way up to the stadium. You know, went up there where the police was. I said, this boy, okay, you got some access here. <laughs> you, know, you got some access. So he would politely, you know, hey, I'm, you know, such and such from some. The man said, oh, yeah, we, you know, we, you know, what I want you to do is, you know, it's packed, but what I want, I want you to go around there. And then I said, this guy has access. <laughs> now, a normal person couldn't have done that. <laughs> but, 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 but if you got somebody who got a little bit of, uh, a power and a thought, you can get some access. Yeah. God said, if you obey my words and do my will, you'll get you some access. That's right. You'll get you some access to these blessings and this protection that I have for you. So for those of you who are in group one, may not know the gospel like that, may not know who I am or who Christ is, it said, Christ said, I will give you access to all these things. Mm -hmm. Group two, if you will turn with me to Acts, the chapter is one. Group two is probably the toughest group to talk to because they kind of know you, but they don't kind of know you. They're trying to figure you out, but they don't quite know for sure yet. So you have to get kind of, you got, you kind of, you got to be a little sensitive with group two, but at the same time, you got to go and, and, and let them know what the real deal is. You got to let them know. So, so we're going to spend some time with group two. Now, those of you who may have thought you was in group one, I'm going to need you to upgrade to group two right now. Right. <laughs> because I'm going to need to holler at you. For those of you who are in group three, I'm going to need you to come back down to group two right quick so that we can holler at you for a second. So Acts chapter one, and we're going to begin at verse number eight. If the same rule will go or if somebody wants to tag in, that'd be great. 
But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Now, who is Christ? Now, now it said, if, if it's in red, Christ said it. That's how we say it. Right. So who is Christ talking to right now? He's talking to the apostles. He says, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Now, now that doesn't mean that he was talking to me. If I come out here and say Christ was talking to me, and I say, brother, I got the power from God. If I just lay hands on you right now, all your healing is going, all your illness is going to be gone. You're going to be straight up healed. <coughs> was, was Christ talking to me when he gave that power out? No, that ain't me. The only way I can get that power is if I was with Christ, as this scripture going to say, if I was with Christ, beginning in verse 21, if I was with Christ, verse 21, if I was with Christ, you there, bro? I'm there. Mm -hmm. Therefore, therefore, of these men <coughs> who have accompanied us all the time, mm -hmm. that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, mm -hmm. beginning from the baptism of John, from his baptism, right, to the day when he was taken up from us, to his resurrection, if you wouldn't let him in, then you ain't no apostle with no powers. You can't put hands on nobody and think that you finna heal. Now I don't know how you know. I don't know how to add them years up, but I'm pretty sure you wasn't alive back then. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you didn't see Christ go back up into the air. You didn't do that. So stop sitting around here saying that you got powers from God when you don't. The only other way that you can get that is if one of the apostles laid hands on you and gave you the power. Right. Right. Now, which apostle did you know? <laughs> did, you, did the one of them come up and touch you? So, so this, we got, you, you in group two, right? Uh -huh. You kind of know me, but you don't know me, right? Mm -hmm. Which means you kind of know, you, you, you might have heard this before, but you might have not. But, uh, but, but you got, I told you I was going to talk to you. That's right. so, so make sure when you hear it now. That you you in group two identify where you at in your mind, so that we can so we can enlighten each one of us and everybody can understand. That's right. So it said you, you if you're an apostle and you got power, it's because God gave it to you. That's right. Well, how many folks was it? Well, we know by scripture that there was twelve of them. Mm -hmm. One acted the fool, so they had to get another one. That's right. But it ended up being twelve of them. Right. So it was twelve. Mm -hmm. Now, which one of them twelve touched you? Was you around? No. So stop talking about how much power you got from this man to lay on hands and do all these miraculous things, cause it ain't happening. That's right. You, you, I, I gotta say, you, you're lying. That's right. Stop lying to people now. Right. You're lying. <laughs> if you will, jump to verse 26. Verse 26. 26. Yes, sir. And they cast their lots, and the lot fell on Matthias. Mm -hmm. And he was numbered with the eleven apostles. And 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 that was the twelfth one right there. They right. had to add one because one acted the fool. Mm -hmm. If you will jump to chapter two of Acts, mm -hmm. jump to chapter two of Acts, and we we'll begin at verse one. Again, we're talking to group number two uh, that kind of know me, but you probably did find out something else about me right then. And we're gonna allow you on some more. Continue. When the day of Pentecost had fully come. They were all with one accord in one place. Now what was Pentecost? <coughs> Pentecost was the birth of Christ's church. Now, when you say the birth of Christ's church, you identify that it belongs to him. If we could go there, Matthew, hold your spot there, Matthew 16 and the verse is 18. Make sure you hold your spot because we're going to be in Acts 2 for a little while. Matthew 16 and the verse is 18. Matthew 16 and the verse is 18. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Now who was he said that would build his church? Who, if he said if it's in the red, who said it? Christ, Christ. Christ said. Amen. Who's gonna build his church? Christ said, I'm going to build my church. Right. Now, you know, I remember, he said, you know, brother, such and such church, 
We said that. We heard of that. You know, this person and that person church. I said, I'm going to build my church. That's right. And the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Uh -huh. Go back over there to Acts, if you will. We'll, we'll reconvene <coughs> that verse number four uh, and conclude at five, and we'll, we'll, we'll spend a little more time on that. Acts 4, Acts 2, verse 4, read. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Mm -hmm. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. Paul. Now, we've heard of tongues, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, we've heard people say he's speaking in tongues. But what does tongues really mean? Does it mean, you know, you know this, is, this is not a picking phase. This is just what I've heard before. Um, some of, um, 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 um. We've heard that. That's right. You've heard people say of that. Mm -hmm. But if you, if, as we go down, I want you to identify what is tongues really mean. Verse 6 says, And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because every heard them, because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Paul. Now what does Tom mean? Tom means the language. It said every one of them spoke in their own language. Now, if a Chinese man come up here and start talking, you're going to probably look at him like, is he speaking in tongues? <laughs> yes, he is speaking in tongues. Because you can't understand what he's saying. That's, right. That's called tongues. If, if somebody come up here and speak in, in Spanish, you might catch a little bit of it. But to you, it's still tongue. That's, That's a different right. language. I don't know what that is. Right. So when you sit there and say, and, and somebody say, I can speak in tongue, but what language you talk? What language you speak? You know, how, many, how many tongues you got? Right. You got two? You got three? You know some Espanol? Right. You, know, you know what else you know? You know some Japanese? You don't tell me you know some off-brand spiritual tongue that I don't know now. That's right. God, That's gave, right. God gave the opportunity for everybody That's right. to get all his gifts now. That's right. That's he didn't give it just to you That's right. unless you're an apostle. You uh, are you an apostle? Amen. Were you here when Christ went up into the sky? I can't add real good. Uh, uh, my wife will tell me that I can because I keep up with them digits. <laughs> <laughs> when she out there spinning. You know, I, you know, I can keep up with that. <laughs> but, but other than that, you know, when I do my math, you wasn't around when the when you when seen him go back into you was not there. Amen. So start claiming that you got the powers that they ain't now. That's right, right. If you will to move on through this lesson, jump down at the verse thirty-four of Acts two. 